there is a part of me that's terrified to fall back on faith as a way to produce a result. I've Listen, I, I've produced the best results in my life from leaning on faith. Do you hear this? I've produced my best results in life when I have been in partnership with the divine. And it terrifies me because I can't control it, right? Like what anger gave me, what anger gave me was something I could control, right? I could control myself to do the work, whether or not that work produced a result. But, it, but the results I produced were not near what I had envisioned. So <clears throat> I now have this opportunity, I think, to lean into faith. And that's not about religion, right? But leaning into um, partnering with the divine and, and seeing what shows up. And there's some part of me that just feels like, wow, that is not a strategy. Uh, but I think strategy is, is, lives in the land of how. I think strategy and how are are really closely connected. And uh, the kind of life I want to live is not bound by how. It's not bound by strategy. I want to live a life that has miracles all around it. I want to live a life that in many ways is unexplainable and in many ways is unbelievable I want people to look at my life and be like, holy smokes, that's so inspiring. And it's inspiring not because Chris did amazing things. It's inspiring because do you see all that happened around him? But that doesn't come from strategy and predictable tactics. That comes from if you have work that is bigger than you, at some level you have to let go and lean into faith in that thing that is bigger than you. And that's where I'm at now. So that's where I'm at, right? Like for 19, for 20 years, I've been consumed by how. And now I'm at a, a crossroads, right? I'm at a fork in the trail. And I, what I get to do now is um, I could continue to, to try to produce results through discovering how and, and using anger to hold my feet to the fire. Or, or I could lean into faith.